Shields up, iron breakers. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're all doing good. Hopefully you've all been having a nice week. And hopefully we can improve on that with a little bit of Monster Hunter World. Odin5, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent for 65 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. And here we are again. Monster Hunter World. So before we begin, let me explain a couple of things. This is actually something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Like, way long before Monster Hunter Wilds even got announced. I was actually already planning on doing this, planning on doing this around Christmas as kind of like a Christmas present to you guys. Holy crap, what the hell, dude? Jesus. BJ, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Andrea Tarasi, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent. As a long beard, tip of the hat, you giga chad, appreciate the support. Silver Nitro, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent for eight months. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. Holy crap. But as I was saying, I was planning on doing this around Christmas as kind of like a Christmas present for you guys. And the main reasoning behind that is because. Um, okay, so you're, you're just not going to let me speak. <laughs> Cold Break, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent, tip of the hat. And Magical Puffcorn, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent, tip of the hat. Appreciate support, thank you. Steve Lamp, thank you very much for the souls, tip of the hat. Appreciate support, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, the amount of support for this stream, like, let's... Listen, we're like five minutes in. Everybody relax. <laughs> relax. As I was saying, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this is because even though I streamed Monster Hunter World Iceborne in the channel, I never streamed base Monster Hunter World. Because at the time, I streamed base Monster Hunter World on Twitch. And I never did it on YouTube. I did the content on YouTube, but I only streamed on Twitch. So I've always wanted to rectify that. And this year I was like, wouldn't that be great as like a Christmas present for the team? I mean, to just like go in there and like, okay, a lot of you have asked about this. Let's do it right now. And it turns out that, holy crap. Turns out that a lot of you are uh, are down for that. <laughs> hey, Rokus, thank you very much for being grossing this for six months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Sir Jerry, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. G1 Sunstreaker, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent. Uh, for making somebody grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Return of a king to its kingdom? <laughs> Jesus. Let's not go that far. Now, another thing, like I said, this is base world. There is no Iceborne features. So that means, as you guys can see, it even announces here, like, oh, you want to buy the Monster Hunter World Iceborne? I didn't even know you could do this. Mr. Tummy Giggles actually told me this ahead of the stream, which is you can just straight up disable Iceborne, which I wasn't aware. Uh, Kaiju K Box, thank you very much for becoming gross and that's some tip of the hat. And Red Devil, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Basam, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. All right. So yeah, there's no clutch claw. Unfortunately, that also means there's no perfect rush. Because look, at the start here, we're not going to be going into Gunlance because Gunlance has too much maintenance at the beginning of the game. Okay? It's not a different account, Silver Nitro. You can just disable Iceborne on Steam. Roland Egger, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. But yeah, I disabled it in the DLCs list, so therefore... No Iceborne, we're just gonna go in. I even have my Iceborne save in here with the character that I played on PC, which is like 200 hours on it. But no, we're gonna do brand new game, begin a new adventure. Let's just enjoy the beautiful opening cutscenes of Monster Hunter World. Let's go. Ferocious, thank you very much for becoming Gross and Gadesson. 
tip of the hat, shoot support. Thank you. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Anybody lost their nerve? Very well. Then sail safe and strong. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. Steve Lamp, thank you very much for becoming Wilson and Gandesson. Tip of the hat. And Robert McFarlane, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Support. Bro, this brings, brings back so many memories. The first time I saw this cutscene, I was so blown away. Lone Wolf, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Yo! Did you hear? We're almost there. You ready to grab this new world by the horns? Don't know about you. Feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So nervous? I believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey! Tell us your name! And here we go. Into the character creation. Way of the Law, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support, thank you. Rambo the Nerd, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent as a long beard, you giga chad. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support, thank you. Or Tech 69, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Jeez, James Cheek, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate it, dude, thank you. Okay, now then. So, I'm going to be recreating the original Hunter that I had, even though it's going to be impossible to make him look exactly the same. Wait, what the hell? It's going to be impossible to make him look exactly the same. We're going to try to rebuild a little bit what he looked like, but yeah, I, I don't remember what he looked like either. It's too long. Jesus Christ! I can't even keep up with chat. Miz and Jamal, thank you very much for making five people grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. That's one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. And uh, John Bauer, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Mrs. Tummy Giggles, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent for 11 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. <laughs> now, like I was saying, let's see. What do we got for a face? All right, I gotta, like, reset this, because otherwise... Uh, stream elements gets a little bit too excited when there's uh, gifted subs. Oh, I think this was actually the face structure that I used. Yeah, we'll go with this. That works. Hairstyle. Unfortunately, I think that without the Iceborne DLC. Oh, we can! I thought we couldn't have this hairstyle without the Iceborne DLC. Hells yeah, baby! Woo! We even get the Admiral hairstyle? Let's go! Let's fucking go, dude! I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get this one. Hells yeah! Let's go! Dude. We're looking good. We are looking sexy.
Yeah, this works. Serious business hunter. Now, the eyes is actually hard. I seem to remember I have a bit of a hard time picking the eyes, usually. There's a lot of weird looking eyes. These look a little bit weird because the, the iris is like off center in them. Not like it matters, we're gonna slap a helm on him anyways. That nose is not looking too hot though. So we're gonna need to change both. We're gonna give it a nice green. Oh God, that actually looks terrible. <laughs> Mr. Tummy Giggles, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support, thank you. See, if we were on Twitch, I could just show you my balls, but we're on YouTube, so we're not gonna be doing any of that. Yeah, I, don't, I actually don't like the way that these eyes look when they're green. There's something about the hunter in the character creator screen where it just kind of looks like he's looking up the whole time. These look reasonably normal. All right, this will work. Let's not mess too much about this. What does this even do? Oh, it moves the eyes up and down. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's whatever. We're not going to be looking at his face that closely anyways. Yes, this is good. Now for mouth, I remember that there's one that's slightly smaller. Yeah, this. I think the basic mouth is actually the one I like the most. Actually, this one's good, too. Yeah, this is good. No need to mess too much with this. Facial hair, naturally one of the most important things. Wait, where's the long beard? Wait, what? Proper long beards only came around in... Iceborn? Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. Iceborn is when we got the proper long beards. Jesus Christ. I was not expecting that. Oof. That is a big setback, but we'll make do. We will make do. So we naturally need to change the color on this. We are naturally going to have to change the color on this. And you guys know what's happening, okay? We're changing plan already. No, no, I'm committed. I'm a million percent committed, dude. A million percent committed. Uh, how do you save color? Triangle, perfect. Right. Yeah, eyebrows, change color. Save palette. Confirm. 
Eyes look good, nose, mouth, facial hair, change color, save palette, confirm, confirm, makeup one, that's the nose thing, we don't want that. As a matter of fact, I will just take this and make up one, and then we'll remove make up two. There. Now, we will move this because the scarred eye needs to be the right one. And this is something that I always like saying for people to understand the reason why most of my characters have a scar over the right eye is because... Wait, how do you do this? Okay. The reason most of my characters have a scar over the right eye is because my right eye doesn't actually see as well as my left eye. That is why. If you ever were like, hey, why, why does he always got the scar on the right eye? Sometimes I'll do it on the left eye if I don't really have a choice. I just like them having a scar on the eye. It's like my personal touch for a character, if I'm allowed to anyways. Now voice type in here, I remember I always go with voice type 5, so that's good. This clothing is perfectly fine, we don't really need to mess with it too much. So this is good. Oh, 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 what? Hey, hey, oh! Hey, yo! Uh-uh. Now we don't do that shit here, bro. We don't do that shit. For a brand new world playthrough, you want to use Guardian Armor? Bro, why don't you just uh, install Cheat Engine and put all Monster HP to one? Guardian Armor, dude. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Defender? You're crazy. You're insane if you think I'm going to use Defender. I want to actually relive the experience. Listen. Defender is if I was like, okay, boys, let's take a new character to Iceborne. That's when you use Defender. If you want to actually experience and play the game, no, dude, you don't do that. Like, what the hell? I use Defender, lol, I regret it. I mean, look, I'm not gonna look down on people for using Defender. I'm just saying, I'm not using it. I ain't about that life. I can actually choose Dual Blades, Bow, Insect Life. I choose Gunlance. You either make up your own mind or you play Gunlance. Ah, got him, boys! We got him! <laughs> you either p make up your own mind, or you're gonna play the gun, Lance. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, did I miss this? No, I didn't. Okay. By the way, wasn't there something that I had where... Huh, interesting. Because eventually, there's there's been a thing sent out where supposedly creators will be able to gift like 10 subs for free or something like that. But I guess my channel hasn't received that yet. Okay, so eyes. We're going to give him a little bit of a... No, we're going to give him this one. Not the full on... But we're going to give him this one. So let's change both. He's going to have same eye color as my hunter. For no particular reason. Okay. For ears. Either go these ones or these ones. I like the default ones, though. Old school palico, man. Old school palico. Uh, no, the default clothing is fine. So what I want is... Where's the coloring? Oh, right. You choose it here. So you get fur, and then you get pattern. That's the pattern I want. And then for part one, we're going to go with some orange. I'm a sucker for orange, dude. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to go orange for part one. Where is even part one? 
Ah, uh, part one is the main fur. So yeah, the main fur is going to be orange. Doesn't have to be quite as bright though. Yeah, something like this sounds good. And then for part two, I know I'm gonna want... Wait, part two could actually be white. Uh, or it could be black. I think I did it black. Oh no! You poor thing! How about we do this one white? Yeah, we have to do this one white as well. Yeah, that's fine. And then the other one goes full black. That's fine. And then here, we go full black. Yeah. That's my guy. That's my guy right there. Look at him. He's ready to pounce. He is ready to pounce. Just wait until he gets upgraded with uh, the grenades. That's what matters. Enter your palico's name. Trictor, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Thank, thank you. Do you think, do you know that a speedrunner just played through World Iceborne, including killing Fatalis another 10 hours? You know what we expect of you, then. I mean, listen, if you expect me to speedrun through something I'm enjoying, let's just put it like this. When I'm having sex with my wife, my focus is not seeing how fast I can finish. It's an enjoyable activity. I want it to last as long as possible. Now, I'm not I'm not having sex with the game. I'm not going to, you know, stretch it as much as humanly possible, but I do want to enjoy myself. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> do you also need 10 hours for that? I mean, I could, but that would probably not be very good. It's not very good because after a certain amount of time, you start losing sensitivity, so it's not as pleasant. So basically, the idea is that you last long enough to satisfy your partner without losing sensitivity. That's the actual way to do it, okay? Just in case you guys were wondering, I'm, I'm teaching you, okay? Learn from me. <laughs> <laughs> Robert396, thank you very much for making 10 people grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me turn on the lights, because, like, it's getting, it's getting a little bit dark. Give me just a second. I just come back and you say the idea is to satisfy before getting without going numb. Yeah, I mean, bro, you know about this. You know about this, Gaijin. Isn't Fatalis Niceborn though? I can I can turn on the DLC when we finish Xenojiva. <sighs> Name is Lily. Okay, fine. Like this? I thought it had two L's. Doesn't Lily have two L's? Did I get that wrong? Chief Hellhunter, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent for four months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Fred Fredberger95, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Lily Bloodbath? Okay. There you go. My palico is a female this time. So, how about a toast? <laughs> to the A-list! And the commission! Cheers! <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. 
Bro, imagine disliking the handler. After running the research Can't relate. for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the fifth fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree. Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Gaijin, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate it, dude. Kagrin, thank you very much for being wrestling with us for 63 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Listen thank to you. that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. You're on the A list, right? Huh. Meow do. <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! Here it comes, team. Here it comes. It's like the meme. Here it comes. Dude, this was such a good opening, though. Guide you know. Oh no! We have to do something. We gotta Let's release them. Here. This way. Uh. My palico, though. This is not PS5, this is PC. We need to get out of here. I don't even know if I have high resolution textures enabled. I hope I do. I need to check on that. Oh god. Did my controller die? No, it didn't. Why is it not working then? Oh, I didn't have the window active. Guys, I don't know if we're gonna make it! It's too steep! Ugh, I almost fell! Well, I actually got hit with rocks twice. Gaijin's making a new video tomorrow. This causes for celebration. Slide off of Zora Magdros's head. Woo! I'm Batman. Huh. 
actually didn't remember that we picked her up there. I thought that um, I thought that she grabs her own wyvern at this point. They wouldn't have to have left behind a weapon. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. What if our hunter picked up the map and goes like, I can't use this to hunt monsters. <laughs> Looks like we're right around here. The Dude. research commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Team Third Fleet, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. It's like... Can I actually... Okay, I can open the menu now. Come Let me uh, check the visuals real quick. So... Everything's on high, high, highest. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Max LD level, no limit. Highest, highest, highest. 64-bit. Where's the... Isn't there like... I thought there was a frame... Wait, vignette effects? No, we don't need that. Come here. Isn't there a frame rate thing? Interesting. I don't see a frame rate thing, because I would like to limit the frames to 60. Because hmm. you don't really need more on my current screen. But yeah, these are my graphics. Let me adjust uh, brightness. Yeah, this brightness is hmm. cooked, because I was playing this on my other computer. This should be a little bit better for you guys. Ah, here we go. Frame rate. You can limit that to 60. Desync on. Come Perfect. Here. All right. We get to go. Motion blur. Wait, was motion blur on? I didn't notice it. Hmm. It is on. Thank you for pointing that out. I don't want hmm. motion blur. God, the fields, look at it. Saratorius, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Do I think there will be a heart a Wild Hearts 2? No. Did I enjoy the game look, very much? The research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. V-Sync is good. V-Sync is very good. You need to understand that because of using that? capture cards and whatnot, V-Sync can get a little wonky. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm supposed to open this up so that she can see it. Yep, it's over there. That's where it is. These Abdenoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Looks like we need to go around. Oh, we don't really have the net yet. We're gonna have to collect quite a few things. Hmm. Hey, Something's you coming, up. pard? The scout flies are gathering. What a 
weird plant. There's one over here, too. Come on, I think I found the way back to base. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. We can push our way through these vines. I would say game hasn't aged at all. It hasn't. But this has better visuals than what you guys remember back on PlayStation 4. Because remember, this game came out initially on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. while we still can. Hmm. <clears throat> Nothing can stop us. Well, look how beautiful this game looks. I'm not I'm not like a super graphics person, but holy shit, dude. Look at this. God, this game is beautiful. The <laughs> memories, dude. Getting emotional over here. Alec Vero, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank here. you. There's more over there. Let's check it out. Oh, we can't collect tracks yet? Yeah, we can. Camera work on these shots is also amazing. There he is, field team leader. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. Move. You know, seeing this scene makes me wonder: Is Tony Jaw supposed to just be field team leader in the Monster Hunter movie? Is that the idea? I never watched the movie itself. Is this on Nvidia the LSS? No, I'm running Move. it on a Radeon. Running it on a 6900 XT. Max settings 4K. But I'm only streaming it at 1440p. Because the streaming rig is not powerful enough to stream 4K. Jump! Jump! Beautiful. King Phyla, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Diabolus. Can you stream 4K? Uh, you can, but my PC probably won't be able to handle it. Wow. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stair right here. Astera. Just a theme, dude. Oh my god! 
The rest of the fifth are already here. Dun 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 dun. Insect life or bust? Bust, Gaijin. Sorry. Okay, set him down here. Take a nice. I need to tape up your shoulder. Hold still for a bit. Hey, you guys made it. Be right back. You're alive. Had a rough, huh? When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Bro, I love that armor. Commission armor, this one, is one of my favorite armors in this game. It's super simple, but it looks so good. Welcome to Astera. Glad you made it somehow. I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think of what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing watched up not too, not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Well, off you go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Let's start by looking for your palico. Did PlayStation have exclusive it sets originally? Part. It always had exclusive the sets. There's um, later to see what they have. There's a set that you actually can't get on PC. At least one that I remember, which is the Aloy set. You can't get that on PC. And I think you probably can't get the Assassin's Creed set anymore. Which actually is a problem now that I think about it. Because you also can't get the Assassin's Creed mantle. I don't know if you can get the Assassin's Creed mantle anymore or not. But it's a problem if you can't. That thing actually gave you a lot of power in, this, in specific situations. Hmm. You really didn't see the movie? No, I didn't. You were the commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. You also can't get the Monster Hunter movie stuff? That's fine. Hammer, Bust, and Iceborne. Wotun, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Wanna check it out? Ooh. Yeah, I reacted to NCH Productions uh, video of the film. I had his permission. Uh, actually, it wasn't just I had his permission. I think he almost, like, egged me to do it or something on Twitter, if I remember correctly. He was like, hey, you should watch it. No, somebody said I should watch it, and then he said, oh, yeah, you should. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> really want to do Final Fantasy and Witcher quests again at an appropriate level? Hey, Wada, you're free to take the journey with me again from the beginning. That's fine. Just remember, you gotta disable Iceborn. Because I'm playing with Iceborn disabled. So there's no Clutch Claw, there's nothing. This is just base world, nothing else. I don't know if Wada's doing it as well. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. We might get the boys back together, team. <laughs> The canteen? 
I am so there. And listen, guys, this dude is very important, okay? Hmm. Because he's the engineer from the Third Fleet, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And by the way, he's probably going to be very important in Monster Hunter Wilds because I want us to have an airship hub, okay? I want an airship hub in Monster Hunter Wilds. That's what I want. Back in my way. Thank you very much for being grossing this for 22 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Who's Rurikon's waifu? In this game, it's the handler. In Sunbreak, it's Manail. And in Base Rise, it was Rondine. This here's our canteen. Hmm. Hey, over there. Hey, you. There she is. Time for council. Right. We're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Theo Zam, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what? Reason. With the fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking. Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras's habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. My favorite turf war in world? I think it was... Um, it definitely had to be something with Rajang. I think it might have been Rajong versus um, the Pickle. Because I remember it was something about the Pickle just like screaming at him and doing stuff and Rajong just being a total chat and just like, You don't care! <laughs> just like, he doesn't care, dude. It's always Rajong, man. Rajong doesn't give a fuck. The fifth banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right. Dismissed. Mm -hmm. Not even here a whole day and you already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go look into this Jagras problem, but you'll need a weapon here. first. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. All righty. Slow down there, newcomer. Proper preparation Get prevails. You can grab yourself a weapon. 
Mm -mm -mm. Pull for weapons? No. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I'm not going to pull for weapons. Number one, I am not equally good with all weapons. Number two, the weapon that you choose that you choose is going to greatly dictate how much fun you're having. And I think to maintain an advice. interesting dynamic sure in the stream and to, you know, to keep the streams entertaining. I need to play weapons that are fun to me, and I already know that chat's gonna go like, "Oh, play longsword!" <laughs> and the thing is, it's not even that I'm bad at longsword. I can be good at longsword, but I don't like the weapon. That's the thing. And if I'm not enjoying myself, you're not going to enjoy yourselves either. I'm here for you. So you're not you're not gonna choose the weapon. Like guys, forget about it. You're not choosing my weapon. And I will use more than one weapon, that much I will tell you, but for now, we're using Sword and Shield. Because at the beginning, Sword and Shield is my favorite weapon. Especially after a very long stint with the Gunlands on going? Months on the Rise Sunbreak. This is going to be a very nice change of pace. Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there, waiting with a quest. This looks like some you old closet. Familiar with your weapons, the training area. Okay. Let's talk to the housekeeper to get started. Hope you don't mind changing in front of others because you have roommates. They didn't tell you about that? No? Uh, okay. Meowing on. Your room also comes with an area to manage your Palico's gear right next to your bed. Even convenient, right? One more thing. If you need to access the training area, just come talk to me. I'm here to lend a paw 24-7. I aim to pearl ease. Now, what does the Meowster need? Oh, we have more... Oh, bro, listen, listen. I just want to point one thing out. I remember the days... I mean, I, people still do this. When people just say, Handler is ugly, I don't like the handler, blah, 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 blah. Everybody remembers this. Everybody knows this. I also remember the day when... Where was it? Where is it? This is not it. I also remember the day when we saw the handler with this outfit and all those people got real quiet. They got real quiet. They were like, whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. Excuse me, bro. People got real fucking quiet, bro. They got real quiet after they saw the handler in this outfit. Uncomfortably so. Uncomfortably quiet, I would add. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. You know it's true. You know it's true. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, the handler this, the handler that. I've said it from the start. The handler is a cutie. I don't give a damn what people say. As a matter of fact, my wife better not watch this goddamn live stream. I'm about to get the shit beat out of me at home. At least the handler's a brunette. So <laughs> that's a good thing, because my wife's also a brunette. Imagine if the handler was blonde, and I was telling on stream, ooh, the handler's a cutie. My wife would be like, did you just call some blonde bimbo a cutie? <laughs> <laughs> Your wife will find out. Watch out. That's fine. We might have to. We might have to buy that outfit later. We might have to go ahead and do that. <laughs> now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, simply grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the canteen. Sign up for a quest. Wait. Handler before we do that, though, I just need to remind myself what the move set is on this weapon. Let's go take a quick look, cause like, I know that I don't have, I know that I don't have the, the Iceborne move, so that means we don't really get, at least I think, we don't really get, um, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 Can I actually just First, straight up weapon. turn off tutorial? Is there a button for that? Player silhouette display. No, no, we want that. Minimap fixed. 
Uh, auto save settings. Uh, oh God, auto sheath, bro. No, 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 no. We don't do that. What was the camera settings too? There's something about the camera. Uh, for starters, there's the distance, which is like, yep, here we want far. Uh, I don't think we want dynamic camera, right? That's not a thing we want. Camera will move to display open areas automatically. No, we don't want that. Oh, radial menu settings. I need to mess with this as well. Press the select item. Yes. Gotta press it. The whole releasing thing? Mm -mm. We don't do that here. Slinger settings. Lock on. Match height. Target camera controls. Press L1 to make the character focus on the monster. Press it twice to reset. Press L1 to focus on the character, press twice to focus on the monster, press L1 to make the character focus on the monster, pressing it twice, yeah, we don't need pressing it twice. Three is good. Target style monsters, large monsters only. Camera style focus camera, do not focus on camera. No. No, 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 no. None of that. You are crazy, my boy. Crazy. Crazy, I tell ya. Alright, this looks better. És de onde, Rurika? Ah, nasci em Lisboa, mas sou de Palmela. Yo, Rurika, what do you think of the release of Moss Under Wilds? Bro, I'm super hyped, of course. You think they're going to delay the PC release? No! It's going to be at the same time. Remember our old rule? No dung bombs. Of course not, dude! Of course, there's no... We don't... Listen, 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 guys. Here's the rule when it comes to dung bombs, all right? Let me just explain something about dung bombs in a real-life situation, Okay? Imagine you're packing a bag, right? You're going for a picnic because you're going to put food in there. You're going to put a couple of sandwiches. You're going to put some beverages, all of that stuff. And then imagine putting in a handful of shit. Are you going to put shit in your bag where your food is? Where your potions are? You, you just put a piece of shit in there? No, we don't do that. Imagine using dung bombs, dude. Dung bombs, dude. That's ridiculous. I'm no. When I'm packing a picnic bag, I don't I don't just put like a handful of shit in there. Okay? It's it's not happening. Yeah, look, I'm not gonna criticize what you choose to do. You do you, my guy. I don't put Shield is a close range weapon set that focuses on agility and dodge. Okay, so it's great for beginners. I love how he says it's great for beginners. Yeah, right, bro. This is one of the most mechanically complex weapons in the game. Now, if I remember correct, oh yeah, I was I was about to do I was thinking about after the shield bash combo. I wanted to go into the round slash that we have in the sunbreak. Like my muscle memory was going for that. I was like, hey, so after this. I do the thing. You can actually do the round slasher as well. Oh, that's not too shabby. But I'm guessing that the round slash doesn't actually... Wait. Oh, the round slash is different here. Anyway, the way that I'm going to be doing it is boom, 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 boom. And then boom, boom, boom. And then... Whoosh. Ooh! Beautiful. That's what's up. I mean, hell, I'm just gonna go in like this. If I remember correctly, there was even something that you can do where you just... Oh, not like that. This is the block, so it should be... Yes! Right from draw. That's the tech right there. Right from draw. You draw into the charge slash, but it requires a bit of practice, and I'm a little bit rusty with it. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Beautiful. We're ready to go. Uh, can I disable the move list on top there? It's kind of annoying. Uh, where do you do that? There's a lot of settings that I don't remember. It's probably in HUD display. Hey. Hey. 
What do we get rid of here? What is this? Button guide. Get rid of that. We don't need that. Objectives, yes. Slinger display, sure. Item bar, sure. Yeah, that's good. Scout fly notifications for now as well. We'll pro we might turn those off later. Might turn those off. That's good. That's good. I think I'm gonna leave health and stamina and dynamic though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a damn shame that we don't get uh that we don't get Yeah. I was I was just testing to see if we would get the the perfect rush, but no, you don't have that. Man. That's the one thing I wish I had from Sunbreak, is Perfect Rush. I love Perfect Rush so much. I remember it took me like two weeks to get the Perfect Rush down. But after that, oof. Oof. That was good. Handlers sort through the Research Commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention because Okay, let's very quickly pick up all the quests. Hey! And listen up. Something important to talk to you Over about. Here. Commission special, different from your past undertakings, if I had to take a guess. It's not about hunting down the Elder Dragons or punishing them for the damage they cause. The commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature and ours. That's the point. The Elder Dragons are nature, and it's futile to try and punish nature as it is to run from it. But knowing nature, that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be clear. Before you take life or move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. Yes, boss. Sure thing. Wait, is Poogie already here? Bro, you guys remember how when we started World, we didn't have Poogie? Bro, that felt bad. Oh! For a second, I thought that was Poogie. Poogie! Poogie-chan! Poogie-chan's not here, boys. Feels bad. Feels bad. Okay, so we're supposed to talk to the handler in the cantina. Are there more quests in the map somewhere? There is. One at the armory. Armory. At the armory. Um, uh, I still remember your guide videos. Yeah, dude, I did a bunch of guide videos for this game. There you go, newcomer. You look a lot more hunterly with a weapon on your back. This is the armory. We deal in ready-made weapons and armor. If you need a weapon ASAP and you don't have time to get the materials, we're your ticket. So, newcomer, care to take a look? Armor that will help you complete the story. I really feel like they shouldn't do this. Because let's, let's just be real. Like, I'm actually curious. Should new players use the Defender set like, just think about it. Do you think that new players should use a Defender set? Somebody who is starting this game completely fresh, do you think that the Defender set is a positive thing for them? It ruins the experience. It does. And here's the interesting thing, right? I see a lot of people saying no now because naturally there's the delay of the stream. But, like, here's the interesting thing. Not only the Defender set, but also the Defender weapons are bad. And let me tell you why. The reason is, a lot of these players are going to pick up that defender weapon. They're like, oh, this this game is easy. I just upgrade. It's like one scale from a monster, and this weapon is just like out DPSing everything in the game. This game is easy street. And then the problem they're going to run into is they're going to get the Iceborne. And number one, they don't know how to craft sets. They don't know how to min-max their set. They don't know how to upgrade weapons. And worst of all, they have nothing crafted and so their weapon trees are in the dumpster so when they want to actually make a weapon it's like hey i'm in master rank it's time to kill master rank monster oh oh i need to go kill a toby kadachi in low rank oh oh that is actually not a good experience in my opinion so I don't think they should publicize this as much as they do. Oh, get the thing. Blah, blah, blah. Although I might want to get the bone kukri. Ah, it's, it's whatever. We'll be able to craft it so fast once we start gathering stuff. It really is whatever.
<laughs> that Toby will die in like 40 seconds though. See, that's where you're wrong. Because number one, you're going to you're gonna load into it. Number two, after you load into it, you're gonna have to run after it. Number three, after you run after it, you're gonna hunt it. And then after you hunt it, you're gonna carve it, and then you're gonna go back to town, and you didn't get the materials that you needed. Yeah. That's not a good experience when you're at master rank. And let me tell you, the reason I know is because when the PC version of the game launched, I used the Defender set. Is there no way to just disable all of the tutorials? There should be something where it's just like, look, I don't want anything. No tutorials at all. Or is that not a thing? Do I need to go through all the tutorials at least once? I forget. Yeah, I guess you have to go through them once because I don't see anything here. I don't I don't have a problem with the cutscenes. I want to watch the cutscenes. I just don't want to see the tutorial pop-ups. Wait, before we do this, is there anything in the letter armor that I might actually want to use? So, this has Master Gatherer. What is Master Gatherer? You gather quickly. This one has hunger resistance. Yeah, this one's better. Uh, what do we have on the chainmail vest? Nothing. And nothing on the leather mail either. It's just different resistances, so that's whatever. Uh, chainmail gloves also don't have anything. Really? Wow, you get you get no skills. <laughs> this also's got nothing. It's just a helmet. The helmet's the only thing with skills. Okay, good. Then it doesn't matter. I thought the, these armors actually had some skills on them. Alright, is any of this food fresh? The veggies are fresh. Yes! There's like one fresh veggie, that's it. Okay, we'll get elemental resistance. Let's go, baby. You guys want to see something funny? Look at this palico. Did I used to use camera mode to look at him? Just look at him. I want you to pay close attention to this palico. like all singed and shit. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oven rust roast roasting. Right on time. They reused this palico animation in Rise. Did they? <laughs> that palico animation is just so good it deserves to be used again. Also, hey Davi. Bro, that video was that video that you did was amazing, Davi. Like I watched your video on the analysis of the um of the Wilds music. And it was funny because everything well not everything, but most of the things that you said were in my very first speculation video. Like for instance, you go like, This music is very alien to Monster Hunter. And I was like, Yup. That's exactly what I said. That's the reason why I didn't even think the trailer was Monster Hunter when I first heard it. And then you're like, I'm getting vibes of like ancient advanced civilization. I was like, yes, me too. <laughs> so funny to, to watch your video, dude. That was amazing. And by the way, 
Uh, Davi, you should you should pay attention to a very specific. Uh, also, see you later, Gaijin. Thank you. Get some sleep, dude. Uh, I'll see you later, Gaijin. Thanks for showing up. Uh, but as I was saying, Davi, another thing that I would really like it if you would check out, just out of curiosity, is like you know when the logo shows up on screen. Pay attention to the sounds when the logo shows up on screen, because those sounds also kind of give off those alien synthy high tech vibes as they're popping up on screen. It's really interesting. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. I'm the bread and you're the butter. Got it? Oh yeah. I didn't actually remember that part. I'm the bread and you're the butter. <laughs> You should you shouldn't say things like that. Handler gives me ideas. The fifth fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagras' habitat. Now we gotta cull a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as we sign up for the Jagras of the Ancient Forest quest. You ready? What are we waiting yep. for? A wild and wondrous wait. new world is waiting for us out there. All right. Um Hey, Rui, why no Iceborne? Greetings from Germany. Because, personally, my favorite experience in Monster Hunter was Base World. Iceborne's great. I loved Iceborne. But I also feel like the difficulty of World was not balanced around you having access to things like Clutch Claw, Wall Bangs, and some of the special moves that you get with the introduction of Iceborne. So I think that makes the playthrough much more interesting, personally. Uh, yeah, this works. It's whatever. Let's get out there. All right, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Rule number one. Complete each yeah, 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 okay, this jacks. part we know, we yeah, 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 so let's see, if I do this, okay, the potions are up there, so we can just use those potions. It's all good. I'll probably want to swap this out. I don't remember exactly how I use the potions in uh, Monster Hunter Rise Break, but I'll probably want to use whatever I used for that. So we're not going to be messing with, with this right now, but I'll eventually change it. I'll probably put those there. So let me see. Customize radial menu, quest settings. This should be. This. This should be. This. And I think that over here. He put. Oh, was it? Oh, I don't have those items yet, so I can't do it. Well, we'll figure that out. Want to get going? Want to get going? Oh, dude, we actually uh -huh. can go this way already? Do we have access to the whole map? Oh, we do. Oh, nice. Let's go get some meat. Be careful. Oh, there's things that I don't need. Needleberries. Frickin' go! Get some meat! Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating so going for sword and shield? Items, for now, you yes. Want to keep your weapon we might use different weapons as we progress. I'll mark but for the start, on the sword and shield just here. feels really nice. Hey. Can we already use the, the grab thing? Yeah, we can. Hmm. 
No, I forgot how to use this. Stop! Stop, stop, stop! This thing has like an arc. Damn it! They got away, boys. They got away. We'll get them next time. We gotta be more smart about this. You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait. No! Bro, I suck at this thing. I hate this thing. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so rusty with that. Oh, nice of you to wait. That's really nice of you. Thanks. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh, they're actually coming in. How nice of them. Hey, boys. Yoink! Oh. Yoink! Uh. Hey, look at that. Revultures for days. Oh. Now we can get some herbs in here. These are going to give us some potions, right? Yeah. That's the good stuff. There's another Aptonoth. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, 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 squirrel. Yoink. Oh, rare squirrel. No, the, there's a rare one. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Oh, bastard. Get back here. Don't let him get away. Run, 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 run. He's going to disappear. Please don't disappear. He vanished. The little trickster. The little trickster. He got away. Ooh, account points. These are important right now because we're going to have very little... <laughs> Aptanoth abuse. Bro, there was like a rare squirrel thing looking there. We probably could have gotten quite a bit of, uh... Probably could have gotten that one out of the way, straight up. But yeah. The beginning portions of these hunts, we're gonna be doing a lot of gathering. So be ready for that. Yeah, there's one of these hairs. Oh, dude, there's more. Nice. Let's get some more meat. I love how the Aptonauts just came right back. That's very nice of you. Don't scream, don't scream. Listen, just accept it. It's fine. This is great. The RNG decos with bad memories. Yeah, that's the one of the biggest problems with this is going to be the RNG decos. No, 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 no. You don't run. You're a big boy. There's a lot of meat in you. I could have actually captured one of them birds, too, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that in due time. I captured most of the rare things. I think. Nice. Baby app, baby app, not. His meat's probably even more tender than the other ones. We're already stocking up, boys. We're stocking up for the winter, okay? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm maxed out right. There's a limit on how much you can, uh... How much you can get. Crap. I was like, bro, I'm just gonna farm 50 raw meat. Nope. Only 10 at a time. We're eventually going to get it different. Wait. We have to actually go inside the tent to deposit? Hey! Hey! You can change your weapons and armor here. Make sure you're always prepped and ready for what comes next. Also, I gotta get rid of all these coatings and stuff. You Not can that use it matters. the item box to manage your inventory. Okay, we're gonna get just a little bit more meat and then we're gonna get these Jagresses out of the way. I don't wanna bore you guys to death with me killing Aptonauts. RNG decos are better than RNG talismans? I mean, you're welcome to have that opinion, personally. I'll take the talismans. Talismans is one slot. Decos is like too many. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? You're trying to get away? Hey. No, 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 no. 
Oh, right. I have to actually talk to you. My bad. We're still in baby mode. Dude, the revultures are going to keep following me because they know this is good business. What? What do you want? What do you want, bro? Oh, we're actually going straight for the thing. Okay. Grab some herbs while we're at it. Almost looked like that thing was glowing. We also need to pick up honey every chance we get. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. That's fine. Yeah, that works. Over here! Those are the monsters we're after. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. They're all, they all running away. Don't let Good. them get away. No, let him get away. This is Grab fine. Monster materials you can. Need to carve. You can use them at the smithy. Personally, I'll always take the least amount of RNG possible. There's always going to be a certain amount of RNG in Monster Hunter, but it's like to me the RNG is more important in terms of like, hey, how many? What's the chances of me getting a certain monster material? And necessarily, what are the chances of me getting this build-defining decoration? Right? That's the way I look at it. Sport buff. Parish rooms. Parish rooms is now what's used for paratraps. We need, like, thunderbugs for that, if I remember correctly. Thunderbugs! Whoops. Got him. Use whatever you can. Sharpness. Create some distance and use a whetstone. Ah, uh, this is fine. These are weak monsters, field team leader. Okay. Let's head home and report back to the old man. Okay, he's running. Let's grab this. Start carving! Monster Hunter GU is also very fun. The thing about GU is I really don't like the start. The start of GU is just like a bunch of gathering quests. There's like gathering quest after gathering quest after gathering quest. And I understand they're optional, but at the same time, I'm a bit of a completionist. So whenever I see a quest, I'm like, well, I gotta do it. I mean, you know, it's there, it's on the list. You're supposed to do it, and so I'm just wasting all of my time doing gathering quests, which is why at the start of G, which for me wasn't even the start of G, it was Generations, because I was at, you're actually able to import your save file from like Generations in 3DS into uh, Generations Ultimate on the Switch, which was a good thing, because then when Generations Ultimate released, I just imported my save file, which had like every single player quest already done, which made things a lot more bearable. Yeah. World 1 stars have a shit ton of optional gathering quests too, though. See? Here's the interesting thing about that. Good to see you. If you say that, you haven't even begun to look at the quests and generations. Okay? If you're going to tell me, oh, world has so many gathering quests. It's like, bro, the gathering quests you have in world 
compared to the number of quests you have in Generations? It's, uh, it's a bit harsh. It's, it's like, uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna go for like four ranks just gathering shrooms. That's how bad it is. Fine work taking down those Jagras. So there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing. I see. Maybe stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger look at lurking around these parts. We also received reports of Kestodon herds getting out of hand. Must be all because Zora Magros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Hey, listen up. It's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like to investigate this Kestodon herd. Call their numbers. Going along wouldn't want you to get hurt. No. I joined some, some random person's session, apparently. To see what you can do with them. Boogie! Boogie, 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 boogie! Boogie! All oh, right, there's the treasure mini game. How do you set him down? Square. Hey, steal, steal stuff off him. Steal it, steal it. Steal it off him. Yeah. A steel egg! Hells yeah, buddy. I think you can only detect once per quest, right? Because I know for a fact that there's like one on one of these flags. I'm pretty sure you can only detect once per quest though, right? Yeah, there's one like, I think it's either this one. This one? No, I think it's the white one. The first fleet. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, you get one per thing. I forget where all the stuff was, but I remember finding it organically. It was very satisfying. Poogie's amazing, dude. I'm just going to go through these dudes because this is just like, hey, here's all the functionality that we have. Also, let me... Wait, what? I guess I need to do some quest before I go there. Okay. This is the ecology. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. These guys basically collect all of the data from the monsters. So we don't need to do that. Uh, this is your farm. Oh, the farm is not operational yet. I guess we'll have to do a quest in order to turn it on. This this chick is here to tell you about... Oh, man, you can go upstairs now. Let's go upstairs just out of curiosity. I wonder if there's probably an event going on right now. Bro, the Astera Gathering Hub and even the the uh, Seliana Gathering Hub were friggin' amazing. Wait, there's no events going on? We have a special quest today. This is one of the things that I really missed in Rise Sunbreak. 
the arm wrestling barrel. It doesn't have it, right? If I remember correctly. Rise Sunbreak didn't have that. Bro, look at this. You can see the whole world from here. I can see the wild spire wastes over there. Ancient forest. More wild spire wastes. So well done. materials why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them well let me clue you in on what the canteen's all about gains health Stamina! Whatever! Max Gains! That's right. Go on and sit down over there at the Connors, Cronny. When you're ready to get your pre-hunt on, you let me know. If you're interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients, now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest fungal flexing in the ancient forest, and that menu will be more packed than a great jaguar's belly. Finish that one up, and I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. That's right. That's fucking right. Gotta get them fucking gains, bro. Listen, I got my workout in this morning. I ain't fucking around when it comes to these gains. You feeling me? So the fifth has arrived. Greetings. Greetings there. I'm the airship engineer with the second fleet. I work on flying machines. I thought he was with the third fleet. And airships and what have you. I'm sure you're curious as about why you haven't met a Met of the third yet. That's because they're all been stranded for years. It wasn't long after the scholars from the third landed before they insisted upon crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. Isn't it amazing that our podcast is called the Third Fleet Podcast? And I'm a sucker for airships and the Third Fleet Podcast and Monster Hunter World just so happened to have converted their ship into an airship and flew away? <sighs> it was going well until just after they'd crossed the ravine. A flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they were reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't help but feel partially responsible for it all. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that we could use to go rescue them. But between the new world's nasty weather and the strong winds hurtling down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. There you are, Fiverr. Look who's back with materials. Welcome to Smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out in the field, gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your equipment. So what do we have you hammering together this time? <clears throat> Bro, they really push the fender gear on you. Holy crap. They really just like, really use the fender. Listen, have you heard about our Lord and Savior, the Defender set? Okay, so review, 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 review. Let's see what we got here. It's got fly ranged up, slinger capacity, stealth, scent, hound. Loss is this. Here's the Scott Fly's gauge fill rate when you find tracks and other traces left by monsters. This is in the belt. 
This might actually be useful. You'll get your stuff faster if you do this. Cromag, thank you very much for being Ruskin S for 12 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. I think I'm actually going to grab this. Yeah, equip it. This is Horn Maestro, so we're not going to do that. BBQ Master, don't care. Entomologist. Oh, this, this will also be useful at the start. Slugger. Slugger's very good. We'll want to craft this for sure, so we need Kestadon stuff. Attack boost, also very good. We're going to grab that. And health boost on the head. Hells yeah. So that's one, two, three. We're going to get top three pieces of bone. So we want to make sure we get a bunch of bones and some Kestadon shells. That's good, because the next quest, I believe, is Kestadon. Corbains. Corbains. Now, I don't know which tree I'm going to go down. I'll, we're not going to go down the Defender Tree. I'll tell you that right now. Poison would actually be really good at the start, so whatever I'll be able to get at the start for Poison, that, sure. Elmosu Gaming, thank you very much for being grossing at this for seven months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Work on how's the PC treating you. Just fine. You inspired me to upgrade. Currently waiting for all my parts to arrive. Very excited. Bro. That fucking PC company needs to give me my cut, is all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> All right. We got some iron ore and stuff. Okay, next quest finishes up here, and then I can leave this lobby, which is a lobby with a random person. Hey there, partner. Next thing we need to take care of are those Kestodon. The chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? We got some good news. We handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. And sign up for quests there too, so you don't always have to come all the way up here. I have to come here to eat though. And again, you might miss out on all the eats up here. Yep. You can pick up quests from the quest board too. Sounds good. It lists the same quest that I've got. So don't worry about having to check two places. We're on the hunt. It's still weird to me that you can't just straight up create an offline session without putting yourself offline. They really wanted to push the online portions of the game. Okay, let's go up to the canteen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this fungal flexing in the ancient forest oh so i already have a gathering quest oh there's events up at the crack of dawn oh this is in the arena this is just to get kestadon materials but we're gonna get a kestadon quest anyway so it's whatever uh but before we go to the kestadon kerfuffle I can just do fungal flexing in the ancient forest, and we'll gather some more stuff real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
How many potions are here? Two. This will be good. Always happy to see you play Monster Hunter World bling back so many good memories. You and me both, Elmosin. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the souls, dude. Thank you. Alright. Let's see what we got. Uh, how do you get gathering stuff? I forget. There's a thing to see what the effects are, right? Yeah. Polisher, stun monsters. Is there any gathering things? Rumor, defense down, sharpshooter. No, it doesn't really matter. So polisher is the only thing that kind of matters. So we'd want red stuff. But to be honest, I just want the fresh food. I don't even care. Uh, oh, there's only one fresh food at a time? <laughs> this is why we gotta improve the canteen, dude. This might be a dumb question. What are the files for? Never really thought of them. Files are for bows. They basically allow you to coat uh, your arrows. exactly where those materials are. Wait, going the wrong way. <laughs> but aren't you supposed to be able to go this way? Guess not, I'm confusing it for something. It's been a while since I played World, so there's that. Bro, this game came out 2018, bro. More than five years ago. It still looks better than a lot of things released this year. Okay? Okay? Just throwing that out there. Just uh, throwing that out there. You can carve materials off of monsters. These materials are vital for producing new equipment and upgrading what you have. Get some Gajal whiskers off the bat. So I figure we go and uh, just reveal all of the camps that we can. Even though I don't really remember how to get all of them. Alright, and here you don't pick these bad boys up. You activate them instantly. Which I actually think is better. I think it's better if you have to activate them by interacting, them, interacting with the environment. likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the target camera. What a gorgeous boy. Let's 
I love how there's just a random Rathalos in here. Yes, this is a brand new character. I'm just investigating, guys. Can you drop this with this thing? I think you can, right? You can. Scatter nuts. Scatter nut is slinger ammo. It's good for staggering monsters. Sorry, buddy. We need some meat. Boys, we eating good today. Maximum meat means we don't need it anymore. So no need to kill any more of those guys. So I'm going to swing by at least some of the camps that I remember. I'll also pick up these shrooms. Because this is our objective. How many do we need? It's probably enough that I don't have to... Yeah, it's 20 of them. This is quite a bit. Also, we needed some more bone stuff. So we might as well pick that up. By the way, I'm not doing any farming off stream. Okay, guys? This is just a warning. We're not doing any farming. This is going to be the full experience. I only play this game when I'm on stream. By the way, I saw a comment from somebody um, earlier where you were saying that playing this after Rise is like playing at 125 speed. I feel like that's the point. More deliberate. Slow down the pace. I appreciate that. I like this pace more. That doesn't mean I, didn't, I don't like the other pace as well. It's fun. But I actually prefer this. It's a good thing that it appears that the future of the series is actually having both experiences. You get one this one title I like this, and then you get one title like Rise and Sunbreak. I think that is the perfect way of doing it, because that way you serve both audiences. You serve the people that just want to go fast and kill a bunch of monsters, which is also fun for me, and you serve the people that want to have like the actual more traditional hunting experience. Dodge their attacks. Don't forget, you can guard too. Oh, 
how far is this character going to go? At least Xenojiva. So at least finishing base world. As to where we go from there, it's probably going to depend on you guys, and it's going to depend on our time. Depends on how long it takes me to get there, because, you know, we're going to be playing this at a very slow pace. So it's going to take quite a few streams to get there, and we're about to come into Christmas. And at that time, I'm also going to be taking some time to hang out with family and whatnot. So, yeah, it's going to take a long time. This is probably gonna work out more like, hey, I don't, I can't really think of a video to do today. Okay, let's, uh, let's play some Monster Hunter. Even though, I already have a video for today, which is gonna actually go live after this. Which is a podcast with Fighting Cowboy, where we talk about Game Awards and Monster Hunter Wilds. Rory, we need some Gunlands action. You'll get it eventually. I'm sure I will want to play some Gunlands at some point. It's just that the start of the game going Gunlance is actually... It's more like, hey, full burst! I did a full burst! I guess it's time to sharpen my weapon now. Okay. Little piggy! Little piggy dead. Apparently people hate watching Lance. Yeah, people are not big fans of Lance. Kinda sucks. Then again, people are also not great fans of Sword and Shield, which also kinda sucks. But I think that potentially one of the main weapons that I will use in this playthrough is going to be Charge Blade. It's just... Charge blade early on is all actually in this game. It's not as bad This game early charge blade is actually not too shabby So we might get the charge blade reasonably fast Because like for instance charge blade in rise break is a problem because you're kind of required I mean you're not required but without at least one point in evade extender it's like uh, Is rough and then you also have that other skill that you need to have, the switch speed or whatever the hell it was, the quick switch. Yeah, that was annoying. Thoughts on light crossbow? There's no light crossbow. I mean light bow gun. It's a weapon like the other ones. I'm not a fan of guns in Monster Hunter. Yeah, I'm not saying Lance isn't fun. I think Lance is amazing. As a matter of fact, when Iceborne came out, I wanted to main Lance. But everybody in stream was like, no, 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 we don't want that. No, fuck you, streamer. Don't play Lance. That's another camp, right? Isn't there a camp here? I thought there was a camp here. Maybe I'm... Just remembering where the camp was. No, I didn't mean to jump off. Rathalus. God damn it. Oh, there's a vine here. Hells yeah, big bone piles, brother. We got the ancient bones that we needed. This is good stuff. Oh, we're going to nab that spider. You know it. Work on what new features do you want most in Wilds? The video that I made. Um, Multi-stage hunts. 
I want longer hunts. I want it to be a full-on open world. I don't want fast travel. I want us to actually navigate the world through the mount. I want the mount to have active tracking. I want to have a, an airship base that functions as a mobile HQ. Bro, I want so many different things. I've got ideas for like 50 different videos that I'll be working on throughout the next couple of months. And we've barely even scratched the surface. <laughs> My speculation will blot out the sun. And then we'll hunt in the shade. Whoa, 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 that's too much, buddy. Like I said, I haven't even scratched the surface. That's right, no restocks, bro. You guys are with me, right? No restocks, am I right, team? Come on. Come on, team. Help me out here. Don't leave me hanging. No restocks, baby. No restocks, gang! As long as you don't go on about Thor's hammer. If there's a new weapon, it better be the magnetic hammer. If there is a new weapon in the game, the only acceptable weapon is the magnetic hammer. Limited restocks via mount. Exactly. That's no restocks. It's the same thing. Limited restocks via mount. Bro, I'm so lost. I don't remember a big portion of this map, actually. I was trying to get up to the top, but I don't even know if you can get up to the top at the beginning of this. Your wildlife map keeps track oh, of where yeah, you, you are can. and where the scout flies are taking you. You can yeah, also you use can. it to keep tabs on monsters. So, how do you go up? Yeah, dude, go like over here. That's not gonna tell you. Schmeh. Schmeh. Okay, let's go back to the ground level. Let's see if I can remember where I am in the ground level, and then from there, we'll nab at least one more camp. This place is bigger than I remember. Wait, I know where I am. Yeah. So that means there should be a camp. Here. I thought I had been here already. There's definitely supposed to be a camp here. Yeah, so I was right. The problem is that you can't do it yet because you need to do that Kuluya Ku quest. That's when you be this camp becomes available. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, see, that's why I thought I was lost because it didn't give me the prompt. Oh, we found a camp. It's like, yeah, I know we did. Ooh, a puke puke. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. No, 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 I'm good. Where's the... There's some mushrooms around here, I think. Yeah. Can you Windrick to the top? was straight up three new ingredients for that quest. Mm. Wait before we get this. Okay, no new quests. That means we have to go do the assigned quest. So we should have all of the optionals done, right? Yep. Yeah. Good. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. Mm. 
Yeah, team, if you guys are uh, enjoying the stream, do remember, you are compelled to like the stream. Okay? The power of Monster Hunter compels you. Alright, hit me up with some fresh stuff. Give me this bad boy, and... Bruh, we need, we need more ingredients, bruh. 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 You can't tell me what to do. I'm not. I'm not telling you what to do. You're being compelled. Dude, those steamed potatoes actually look really good. Those steamed potatoes look friggin' delicious. I could eat one of those. Like, right now. Just have a steamed potato. Taters. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Hells yeah, brother. Alrighty. We're on the hunt. Let's head to the ancient forest to research those Kestodons. Oh, right, you can just depart like this. Also in the Wilds trailer, that's a long sword? No. Okay. Our job is to call that's a great sword. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of it's a smaller looking one. Wanna get going? They're around here somewhere. Those Castadones have to be around here somewhere. Dude, look at look at the um, the base in the distance. I love this ambience. There's no binox in this, right? No, I don't think there is. But like, look at how you can see the base in the distance. That's cool, dude. Wait, did I deposit my stuff in the item pouch? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oopsie daisy. It's a not so great sword. It's it's a hundred percent a great sword. Like there's there's no question in my mind that the weapon that we saw is a great sword. Okay. I understand why people think it's not, but it is. Why do I have this ammo, bro? I don't want this. Take that crap away from me. Over here. What's up, Rosef? I'ma get me some meat, bro. I know by you. But listen, hunt hunters gotta hunt. And we gotta eat. Kestodon is some good meat, brother. That is some good meat. Ah, there we are. Those, my friend, are Kestodon. Let's see you take him out on your own. Huh. Be careful. Greetings from Washington. I'm glad you also want an airship hub for Monster Hunter 6. I hope we get it. I'm going to have to pressure uh, Jono to put in a good word with the team. Let him know that we all expect an airship as a base. Okay? That's what we're going to do. <laughs> all right. Let's look for another group. Be careful. I think I can already cra craft those bone pieces I wanted. The least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. 
Oh no. The life around here can come in handy during hunt. Try to learn as much as you can. Yeah. Bro, considering that there's all of that sand, do you guys think we can finally get, like, Duran and Jan back? These? These? Can I has Duran Moran and Jan Moran? Pretty please with a cherry on top? Over here! I feel like they might have improved the sound. I don't remember hearing like this rumbling sound as the Aptonauts were going through, or maybe I just didn't pay that much attention to it back in the day. But I feel like it wasn't a thing. Monster Hunter is one of those I couldn't get into, but I can watch a live stream of it for hours. That makes me happy. I, I do think that Monster Hunter is very much a streamable game. It's just one of those very cozy games where you're just hanging out. Even just like chilling out and gathering stuff. It just feels nice. Right? It's, just, it's just like a, a nice warm fuzzy feeling. Let's Be go careful. to the beach. Damn it, I almost did the jump. I would have AoE'd all of them down with the, the shield coming down like... Ugh! Yeah! Ya prick bastard! Now you're gonna get it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, there's a way to like slide down here like so. Whee! I love the sliding attacks. Wait, 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 wait. These bros going to despawn. We don't want that. Miss me. I found something. I'll be right over, buddy. Right after we carve the bejesus out of every last one of these. Hello, Rickon. I've seen your reaction to the last Blizzard move, but not much reaction from the WoW community. Do you think the frog is cooked? You ha Wait. You haven't seen the reaction from the WoW community? Bro, the reaction from the WoW community is all over my goddamn Twitter fleet feed. Just plastered in there. They're beyond cooked. The World of Warcraft community not only accepted that thing, they also heavily yeah. defended it and took a dump all over me. That was a reaction, all right. Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with <sighs> This is it. I knew it. Big changes are happening to the ecosystem. Nom, 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 nom. The great Jagras. Do we get the hunt one now? Super agitator, great Jagras is bad news for us. We need to take it down. Oh, nice. We get the hunt of Jagras. Good. Agreed. There's no time to waste. See, this is what the quests in Monster Hunter Wilds can be like. 
They didn't do a whole lot of these in Monster Hunter World, which is like, oh, you finish one quest, you dynamically progress to the other one. They didn't do that many of these. They should do more of them. They really should. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. But yeah, in regards to the World of Warcraft stuff, by the way, I, I would just like to remind you guys of one thing. When I made that post and I said I quit, that meant I quit talking about microtransactions. Well, I'm not talking about them. I'll talk about them and I'll tell you guys what my opinion is on them, but I'm not... Like, don't look to me to be a consumer advocate against microtransactions anymore. I'm, I'm done with that. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm not memeing. I am done with that. So, like, from now on, if a game I'm interested in goes like, oh, we're going to have one week of early access in the deluxe version, you're not going to hear me complain about it. I'll be like, hey, look at that, guys. Our stream starts a week early. If a game that I like, like, I'm going to give you the most extreme example. If Monster Hunter Wilds sells you weapons for real money, I don't care. I'm not going to make a video bitching about it. I am done. I, I am done. After the beating that I took for pointing out something as ridiculous as that World of Warcraft boost, it's like, bro, I'm out. Because, like, look, I got nothing to gain from this and everything to lose, and then I still get, like, abuse from strangers. Nah, bro, I'm out. Whew. I am a million percent out. Like, I, like, I'm not even... Forget about it. You won't even hear me complain. Like, I'm done. Like, I know that people probably don't know what I'm talking about, but, like, just very quickly. World of Warcraft released a boost, which they called a raid-ready boost, wherein you can pay $60 to boost one of your characters to max level and get a full set of gear of 424 item level gear. Okay? You can do that. And I pointed this out and I said, this is bullshit. And a bunch of people came in and they said, no, this is great. This is fantastic. You're an idiot. You suck. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, okay. All right. In that case, I'm tell you what, I'm good. I'm good with that stuff. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't care. I, I, I just completely decided, yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm good. Cause like people need to understand that whenever I talk about stuff like that, I'm risking, like, certain people in companies getting mad at me. I'm risking, like, potentially losing certain coverage opportunities. Because, you know, people might be like, oh, look at how mad he was about this World of Warcraft stuff. I'm risking my own career. And it's like, I don't mind risking my career. I don't mind risking my opportunities. So okay. long as I'm doing it, in, you know, for the greater good. What, what my latest post taught me? Is that nobody wants this. It's like, okay, well, if people don't want it, that's fine. Hey, pfft, doesn't affect me. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. All right? That's simple. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go hunt the Jaguars. Let's actually go have some fun instead of talking about uh, depressing stuff. <laughs> the state of modern gaming monetization. I just want to make sure people were aware because there's like over a thousand people watching this, which means there's a high chance that a large portion of my community will be, will watch this stream at some point. I just want to make sure that they're aware that that's where I'm at with this. Like, I'm good. I'm done. No more. It's not worth it, especially with uh, some of the anxiety that I already deal with in real life. It's not worth it to get all of this... All of this bullshit online. Oh, bro, we get a mount right off the bat. Wait, it's R2 to brace. I was bracing with, uh, with R1, actually. Can you brace with R1? I forget. I don't think you can. Wait, I should go to the head. This, to me, is way better than Wyvern Riding. 
I don't know where everybody else lands, but I prefer this a million times over wagon riding. You guys remember this part with Sword and Shield? <laughs> you don't have to dismount, you can just keep bashing it. God damn, that's good! Let's go! Where are you going, buddy? as a guide and they'll lead you right to him. Give me one of these. Actually, give me two of these. Thank you. Uh, what ammo do we have right now? Ooh, we have scatter shot. Hells yeah, buddy. Isn't there a thing from when you jump off like this? Oh, wow, another one? Bro, we get all the mounts. You shouldn't get stunned again, right? So we can just punish. Oh, he does get stunned again. Wow, poor Jagras. Okay, the monster's tired. Now's your chance to deal some serious damage. Damn it, I was trying to do the tech, but I messed it up. I'm rusty. My bad. Is that the for the clagger? You still get the clagger animations, even if you don't have the clutch claw? Because that was for the clagger, right? That staggered animation you just did? Bro, this monster doesn't know what he wants. Just needs to get bashed upside the head a little bit. Pow! This monster about to learn who the boss is. Ow. Law should also be in base world, even without Iceborne, as far as I know. No, it's not. How do you grab onto monsters with Claw? I forget. I'm pretty sure it's not, dude. L2 and square? No. It's not. If I install Iceborne, it will be usable. Yeah, but I didn't install Iceborne purposely so that it wouldn't even be usable. This is just base world, team. We might install Iceborne afterwards. Once we beat Xenojiva, it all depends on how things go with the stream, but yeah. But the clagger is there. It is! The clagger is there. Which is actually kind of like not a good thing. I feel like if you don't have uh, Iceborne installed, clagger shouldn't be there. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Base game has claw. No, it doesn't. The base game has claw if you have Iceborne installed. If you disable Iceborne, which you can do on Steam, there's no claw. Oh yeah, Rise Village is a joke. Rise Village is straight up a joke. I hope they never go that route again. 
it's too easy. Like I understand even if you want to introduce new players, but Rise Village is is a joke. You still get the Wex nerf? I don't know if you do actually. We'll find out. How would that even That's work? Like fun. if you don't have That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense if you're able to do that. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. Okay, guys, he's gonna go to sleep. This is when we sleep bomb him. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? God, that sound. That breaking sound? Bro, it's it's too much. My heart. My heart. That I love that, dude. I live for that. Chicken 64 thank you very much for being grossing again. That's for 17 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Didn't you just build a gaming PC, Rue? Why are we getting 40, 50 FPS average? This is not my new PC. And this is not 40, 50 FPS averages, is it? Oh, yeah, actually it is. You can see it on the top corner. Yeah. It's also because empty framework engine is not excellent. I think but I also weird. have some stuff open that I probably shouldn't have. I should close this. Hmm. Oops. Sorry about that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Isn't this when we learn about the Kuluyaku? By the way, is the game too dark, team? You need me to clear it up even further? Let me know. And yeah, I'm also playing in 4K. Hey. I'm being very greedy. Well, you were right. There's our mark. Matthias Nugenbauer, thank you very much for the soul, for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support, thank you. Something's got him agitated. Oh, look. <laughs> it's the big beefy look rock. There. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? Silver Nitro, I'm sure right Ark will appreciate it. <laughs> but we better report back first. All right. Turn off volumetric rendering. It kills the performance. Okay. I don't care that much. Like, this frame rate is fine for me. But I guess if some of you guys are like, oh, this is, we, need, we need that flawless 60, baby. It's just empty framework was never really a super optimized engine, I feel like. Especially because I don't know if they still have the Nouveau, but when the game came out, it also had the Nouveau, which is an absolute cancer in PC gaming. I hope they don't put the Nouveau in Monster Hunter Wilds, dude. I hope they don't do us dirty like that. All my homies hate the Nouveau. The Nouveau is a piece of trash. 
So you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Magdros? Well, I'd send some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off Puke Puke hanging around. Puke Puke territory, that's pretty deep in the forest. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we'll make our move. Till then, we do everything we can to help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that Puke Puke. Okay. I wonder where the resource center is. Let's take a look, see here. So what you guys are saying is like to improve visuals on here, we would turn off volumetric rendering. Oh, turn down, no, is volume rendering quality? I guess it's the quality on here. Sure, we'll put it down to eight. Not that it matters, like it's not, it's barely touching our VRAM, it's whatever. Uh, and then you said turn off TAA. Okay, well, let's just do FXAA. There. It's still not, like, super improved. I mean, I do s actually, no, I do see 60 FPS now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, if this is better for you guys, this works for me too. I don't care. You gotten used to how things work around here? New world, new rules. It's something you have to get used to. Turn off? Okay. Huh. Look around you, everyone here is strange or crazy as they may seem. They've all crossed the sea just like you and they've all carried on their, out their duties. They looked at the new world in the eye and realized the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it. Didn't stop them though, they had conviction. Do you have <laughs> conviction, Hunter? You should get to know your colleagues. Maybe some of that craziness will rub off on you. Yeah. Turn anti-aliasing off altogether. Uh, uh, I mean, look, I'm willing to try- wait, no. You guys want this straight up- oh, oh, wow! Oh, wow! You're right! Holy shit! Uh, I don't know about it fully off. Like, I can see Jaggies. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, team. Tell you what, I'll ask you guys. I'll ask you guys. You guys will get to the side. Oops, this is YouTube. YouTube's different. Ugh. There. You guys get to choose. The poll is up. Do we have... Yeah, we have a quest over on the canteen. Okay, so most people are voting for FXAA. TAA without FXAA? Jesus, you guys really do... You guys really do... are indecisive when it comes to this stuff, huh? TAA is the blurriest of all. Okay, look. People are voting for FXAA. We got FXAA and that's it. I don't want to be touching the visuals all the goddamn time. I realize this is what uh, a ton of people like doing when it, when they're playing PC games. Just like, man, let me tweak up. I fucking hate it, okay? I am not a fan. I used to work in IT, bro. I don't like fiddling with settings incessantly. I had to do that enough at my job back in the day. Hey, Scrawny, ready to get your pre-hunt on? Let's go, buddy. Actually, no, we want to craft. I 
Oh yeah, and you guys also wanted it a little bit brighter because it is kind of dark. That I can do. Do, 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 Okay, what armor can we craft now? Zajagris, speed eating, intimidator, palico, rally, fortify, speed crawler. Don't need any of those. Affinity sliding is good. Slugger is better. So we're gonna craft this stuff. Boy! Boy! Ah! I should also get something for the legs, but I think I'd rather have this. We just need more Gajau stuff. I don't really care too much about what we do with the legs. This is fine for now. Weapons. Oh, I think we I think we need to craft a gun lance. Cuz I just can't help myself. I can't help myself. Bone. Bone starts at yellow. 184 207. This one has better sharpness. See, what we're looking for with a gun lance early on, when it comes to world, is sharpness out the ass, okay? We want all the sharpness. So I can easily upgrade this, that's a little bit more green sharpness. Oof. Oof, bro. Bro. Mm. Is this wide? No, it's normal. Oh, we can actually craft uh, normal shelling level two. We already have the materials. Okay, well, in that case... Equip the bastard! And now we upgrade that piece. Hells yeah, brother. Hells yeah, brother man. Oh, man! Baby, don't be so mean! What are we hunting next again? Already going to his crutch? This isn't a crutch. A crutch would be me going to a more powerful weapon. If anything, this is a handicap. Playing a gun lance without, uh, <clears throat> without artillery? This is a massive handicap right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what have you got for me? Oh, this one's completed, but there will be more. More. Wait, what? Oh, right. I'm supposed to go help uh, the dudes make the camp. Wait, that was the wrong one. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, you are too good to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you guys want. I know what you want. Oh, find a viable camp. Yeah, we already did that. Oh, 
Oh, I should have been doing... Oh, we don't even have bounties right now. That's fine. Secure the campsite. This is the Kuliaku quest, I think. Okay, let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. Yeah, 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 sure. They want me to capture something. I'll think about it. All right. right now, we're in Astera. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. Saffir, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. The Appreciate the support. Yeah. Pretty good incentive thank you. to explore, right? And yeah, I agree. I agree that uh, the upgrade tree works better in Rise because you can both upgrade and forge. That's the way that it should have been, to be honest. I feel like it might have not been properly tested in, in World. Or maybe it was properly tested and nobody cared at the time. Only after like a big amount of hours do you go like, Hey, this would actually be better if I could just upgrade from here. <laughs> Isn't this the one that gives him the explorer outfit or whatever? Who's a good boy? Prentice Fiverr. Yeah. That looks good. I feel like this would look better if it was kind of like leathery. Like this. The other part's white. Oh, okay. That part. Now let's keep that white. That's fine. Good boy. Good boy. All right. So now we're just going on an expedition. Wait, we need to eat. You gotta eat. Oh my god. Poogie's face on the handler's body? Bro, what the hell is wrong with you? Sir, you you have you have some problems that you need to figure out. The hell? Sir? This is the FBI. We need to have a conversation about a recent comment we've seen you make on a stream. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Muscular Chef is an amazing character. Nothing can stop us. Let's look for the campsite. If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Bro, look at the weather. Look at that. Oh my oh my god, bro. Base without signing up for a quest. Sunsets. There's oh. no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. Well, let's just stay here. No? We can just stay here. Fine.
Joseph Lopez, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Thank you. Recently purchased World for PC after putting in 2,000 hours on my Xbox. Just glad to see you doing it, too. Yeah, dude. Giddy Aunt, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Thank you. It's on RE Engine. This is not RE Engine. This is uh, an engine they have called Empty Framework. I think this might have been the only game they've ever done on this engine. It's a close range weapon that also fires shells. Find an opening and down your prey with Wyvern's fire. Oh, we're already maxed out on meat. I forgot about that. Ooh, the fisherman! How'd it? I just love me some good fishing. Pink Parexis. Oh, you reel in with circle. <laughs> Susie fish. Whoops, no! Did I scare all the fish away when I jumped in the water? Oops. Wait, there's there's some over there. Wet fish. Come on, bro. Pink Parexis. I don't even know what they look like. Ah, he was baiting me. Well, that's very unsportsmanlike, but yes, for those of you that are wondering. I got it. For those of you that are wondering, you can also just do this. Like blah, oh. blah. So long as you hit the fish, you get it. Dude sitting over here with his rod, and you're like, "Nah, bruh, blah." <laughs> oh, that's an Angie. You will mess us up. Hey, partner. That monster's too dangerous. Do not try to engage him. I bet I could kill him. I bet I could do. It. I could beat them, brother. Oh! This is for the, um, the stuff for my palico. This is like, is, is this one of those moments like the people that believe they could fist fight a lion or something? You know, there's actually people out there in the world, people that probably never even raise their fist against anything, and they go like, yeah, I could fuck up a lion. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I could. And they have like the whole strategy worked out in their head of how they would fuck up a lion. <laughs> they have like the whole thing mapped out in their head. <laughs> the beetle? What beetle? What? What did I miss? Where? 
There's the, oh, that one over there. Oh crap. Is that a rare one? I wasn't paying. Listen, guys, you need to understand. When I'm streaming, I'm paying a lot more attention. At least I try to. Especially in chill moments like this, I'm paying a lot more attention to what's happening on the screen of this computer. This is where chat is. I'm not looking here. This is where the game is. I'm looking here. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Lions are literally bit, built to kill, and there you are, a shaved day. <laughs> thinking you could take it see that's the thing it's not me i'm saying there's people that think like that i'm not one of those people like a lion would fuck me up a cougar would fuck me up hell a snake would probably fuck me up it's like no i don't think so <sighs> bro a snapping turtle would probably fuck me up and it can barely move Rurikan, I know you originally streamed this on Twitch. Is there any way to watch your original reaction to this game? Or is it lost to the ether? It is lost to the ether. I wish I had saved it somewhere so that I could upload it here. But, yeah, at the time, I wasn't really thinking too much about it. I think at the time, I was actually in, in one of those phases where I'm so disappointed in YouTube that I was even thinking about quitting YouTube altogether. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'll just stream. I don't even care about any of this anymore. Like, Monster Hunter World, like, really changed my life in a lot of ways. I mean, it's my favorite game of all times, regardless of that. But, like, it was the biggest success I've ever had on the channel. Like, Dark Souls and whatnot, those gave me a little boost. But, like, Monster Hunter? Pfft. <laughs> I was surprised. I, I went from like 60 to 100k in like no time. Once Monster Hunter Rise came out, I was really surprised. Uh, Monster Hunter World, I mean. Link. Learn how to play sword and shield from any of your videos? I'm happy. Look at all this stuff we're gathering. This is cool. Can you actually ride these all the way up? People were talking about that earlier. I don't think you can. I can't even, like, shoot it in a way that I would grapple. Oof. Anyway, doesn't matter. Pretty sure the camp that they want would be this one, right? Mossy old stone. I'm playing without the clutch claw. This is a uh, base world. No clutch claws here I agree Sunstreaker. I hope that's the way they do it <laughs> Okay, so this one's the uh, oh, yeah. the endemic life specialist. <laughs> Woodland Terex. I think they're close by, actually. I remember seeing those.
Tell the truth, it's all because Basil Goose, right? You're goddamn right, Almosu Gaming. Thank you very much for the soul. Stip of the hat. Appreciate support. Bro, I'm gonna grab me a yellow boy. I think Woodland Terex is actually hang out behind Over these here. trees. Relax, bruv. Looking for something. Uh, uh! Got him. Got two of them. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Oh, you can hook onto it. Do they actually fly you to the top? I wasn't aware of this. Holy crap! That's a pretty beefy shortcut. Where do you go from here? Oh, they release you here. Okay. That's great though. Like, this is a beefy of a shortcut. Let's see if I can remember where the camp was up here. We'll grab that one too while we're at it. Was I the only one that wasn't aware of this? Or at least if I was aware of this, I don't remember. It's been too long. I never knew that. Yeah, see? I wasn't aware of it either. I was like, wait, what? Hey, I found the camp, bro. Should be right here, right? Somewhere? Oh no, wait. This ain't it. This is for us to go to the Rathalo spot, so the camp should be here. Uh... Nice. Let's ask the head honchos. Nice. And that means that somewhere around here... Yep, is where we can do this. This. And then one more. This is like a special feline thing. Steal their shit. Take their honey. Over here. Take their mushrooms. Fuck them. Rob them blind. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. I think eventually you have to come here for a specific reason, but I forget what it is. And sometimes I think there can be, like, rare monsters around here, too. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to go back down. Beep. 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 All the way down. Jump off here. Can't? Let me jump off. Let me jump off. <laughs> Memories of this place. Hey oh boof. Do they give you more quests after you complete Thanks. the first one? Thanks. Okay. 
over here. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go straight into the Kuyaku quest. Bro, this monster is so cool. Well, if we don't take care of that past, the camp won't last the night. Oh yeah. That monster's called a Kuyaku. Bird brained bandit. How do you return to base from an expedition? Open the wildlife map and switch to the world map, then select Astera. Pick up them bones, too. Gunland's cool speed run. <laughs> it's been too long without playing World Gunlands for it to be in any type of speed run. fact that we killed this fella and he was just chilling. Bro, listen, Cool Yaku is just a burb. He just wants to chill and eat eggs. Cool Yaku is basically like my son. My son is crazy about eggs. If my son could, he would eat nothing but eggs. He would just be a an eggnivore. He likes them in any way you can imagine. It's like, oh, you got boiled eggs? I love them. Oh, you got scrambled eggs? Love those, too. Oh, you got, like, uh, you know, sunny-side-up eggs? Yup. Well-done eggs? Fuck yeah, dude. Poached eggs? Ooh! Now I don't even know how to make poached eggs. Oh, I could have grabbed that, uh... I could have actually grabbed that, uh, bigger wasp. Actually, you can still grab them, right? Even though it doesn't have the thing, it should still be able to grab. I can see it, that is. Did it fly away? Out of flow. Now, this is interesting. Let's report our findings to everyone at the Ooh, resource center. When we get back. Investigations. This is why I got Sent Hound. We're gonna get like tons of stuff. Hey, brother. How you doing? Oh, he's already limping? What the hell do we do to this creature? Jesus Christ! We deleted him from the stratosphere, man! I only got like a couple of full bursts in! He is murdered! Bro, it was only a couple of full bursts? Chill! 
Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? I can't do that. Even the scout flies don't know what to do. Guess I'll go through here. No, this isn't gonna help. This goes that way. I think we gotta go up. Yeah, we gotta go up one of these mines. you bitches complaining about, huh? Whoa, 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 bro, chill. Everybody's overreacting just a little bit here, okay? gonna do behemoth also uh i'm probably not gonna I mean, it's like i can do extreme off as well it's just the hassle of doing extreme off might be rough then again i'm much more experienced now than i was then but i don't know if i would want to do it if i'm the one playing white mage i don't i don't think i want to do it if i have to play white mage i've done that once i'm good you know eating eggs. I was hoping I was going to stagger. Done. Rip and tear till it is done. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I don't even get anything for the doodles anymore. I think we're going to get a special quest for the doodles when we report this. Maybe not a special quest, but we do need to go to Astera in order to trigger the thing. You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. I like support and only use charge blade. That's fine. Because you usually use things like quick sheet and friendship. That works. That's fine. That's pretty much what I did. Except I was using sword and shield because it was faster. Is this a let's do everything kind of run? Yeah. Well, let's do a bunch of stuff while it's fun. If it stops being fun, I'll probably stop. Bro, the high-res texture pack really does improve a fuckload, dude. This game looks way better than what I remember. Like, just look at the texture on her- on her friggin' skirt. Went ahead and got the camp all set up. It's yours to use as you like. 
And now that I know what you're made of, Fiverr, I hope I can talk you into taking jobs from me more often. I have something special just for you. Okay, ample supply of mega potions. Okay. Come back soon. Crafting stuff 101, mix some honey with a potion, you get a mega potion, go on, give it a try. Is that it? Like, what's, what do you mean? Is that an actual request? No way, dude. That's not... Where do you see the requests in here? Resource center. Didn't I do all of these? Liver requests. Ha, great help. Okay, there's that, there's that, there's that, and that, and that. Complete deliveries. Okay, that's done. Yeah, 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 I know how these work. Hunt bird wyvern, hunt brute wyvern, limited bounty. Okay. Sounds good. That's all done. Do we have any more quests we need to pick up? Yep. There's one all the way over here. Hunt's keeping you busy. SOS flare. Okay. I think there was another quest up by the canteen. There's one over there, the Echo Boys. Which, by the way, I should turn in the Echo Boys. And we gotta, we gotta get Poogie to do some stuff. Poogie! Poogie, my boy. We're gonna go look for things. I think that this is all stuff that he can steal here. Oh! I think this is also stuff that he can steal. I'm looking for more unique things. I think there might be something near the the thing there. Wasn't there one thing around here somewhere? Yep, here it is. Get that, Poogie. You get that. Oh, yeah, this is the stuff that we've just completed. Isn't it? I thought it was. Where do I report? Oh, right, I gotta report to this guy. Perfect. Wait, Poogie steals things? Oh, yeah. Boogie's a thief. He's a little scoundrel. I mean, it's not really stealing. It's more so he just takes stuff from them. <laughs> You're not really stealing. But you can get some items. Working hard? Is that you heard me mumbling? Yeah, the chef's asked me to rustle up some ingredients for him. Still got so much eating to do. Whoa, you serious? You'll go and get them Good for luck. me? You, thanks. You're a lifesaver. We Fivers gotta look out for each other, eh? Here are the details. Good luck. Moss Swine Hide. Ah, would you look at that? I already did it. What a Chad. What a Chad. Thanks. 
Thank you, thank you. Okay, for that next camp, we're gonna need an Anjanath pelt. Some monster bone elves. Alrighty. Now let's proceed. You've done well. Nice work clearing out the camp. I knew you'd come through, and now we're finally ready. Alright, Hunter, the Puke Puke hunt is on. Once you've hunted the target, the scholars will be able to get a closer look at that evidence you found. Cannot stress enough how vital taking out that Puke Puke is for the commission. This could be the break we've been waiting for. Good luck and be careful. The fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. Okay, so since uh, everybody's already bitching about me using the gun lance, I'm going to tell you guys what. I'm going to tell you guys what. We're going to make a new weapon. A weapon that I usually don't use that much. Biggest problem with this weapon is that I don't like using it without a Vade extender. I'm gonna make this bad boy. You know that initially I was going to have this be my main weapon when I started playing the game? G1 Sunstreaker, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Thank you. Rory, love how cozy and comforting this stream is. What are your thoughts on the drones greats? What do you mean drones? V Velocidromes and shit like that? Love, hate their presence in wilds. Your favorite one? Oh, I like them. I like the, the Velocidrome, stuff like that. Yeah, I dig those. Boldrum. I love Boldrum. I know that people like to hate on Bullfango, but I actually like Bullfangos because Bullfangos are actually one of the few monsters that will dick you over in the middle of a quest. And I find that cool. So yeah, I'm into the Dromes. And I personally miss Great Jaggy. I miss Great Jaggy because that was like the first real monster I ever fought. Even though at the time I ended up not even liking Monster Hunter Tri because I didn't know what Monster Hunter was all about. I have great memories of hunting fucking Great Jaggy, dude. Great Jaggy was awesome. Bro, Great Jaggy is awesome. Come on. Who's gonna who's gonna give me shit over Great Jaggy, bro? Get the fuck out of here. What, what? Come on now. Uh, bone axe two, three fifty. I think we're gonna go the iron, the iron route. I can't do a great Jagras one because I wasted all the Jagras materials. We can do this one for three fifteen, or we can do this one for three fifty, but it's yellow. We're gonna go the yellow route. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You guys thought the gun lance was overpowered? Wait till you see me with this bad boy. With yellow sharpness. I don't remember how to play this weapon, though, so this should be interesting. Yeah, let's go. Can I do this one? No. Okay, that's all good. It's all good. Look at the size of this thing. Wait, can I make new armor? Is there any new armor that's got some good skills on it? Cool! No, it's all bad. We don't want that. Thank you. We're good. We're good with what we got. No more quests. Good to go. Let's go. Let's go hunt that Puke. Any new optionals? No. Puke Puke is about to get Puke Puke'd. Huh? Huh? Get it? I'm so smart. Oh, shit. Hello, brother. What you got for me? Custom platter. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, fresh food is red. 
There's only one fresh ingredient, though. All right. We'll have some wyvern tail. Thank you very much. Dr. Yan, PhD, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Any thoughts about when in 2025 do you think wilds will drop? I love the chilled nature of the stream, by the way. I'm glad you enjoy it. I would imagine it drops around March. Maybe earlier. But I think it'll definitely be first quarter 2025. I think that's what makes sense, but I could be wrong. That would be my prediction, though. My prediction would be around the uh, the anniversary. Because, I mean, if you're, you missed the anniversary this year, right? Because maybe development slid or for whatever reason. If you're missing the 20th anniversary uh, on 2024, you probably want to capitalize and go like, Hey, it's the 21st anniversary. Here we go. Let's go. And first quarter is usually extremely important for them. So, you know, there you go. That's what I think. By the way, back, watch your premiere video. Oh, the, uh, the reaction that I put out on the other channel. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, a short stream that I uh, did this morning over on Twitch. With the, uh, oh, yeah. with the World of Warcraft situation. Bro, I couldn't believe how they reacted, not pay to win, really. It wasn't even that they just reacted like that. It was just like they defended it and they were upset that I was pointing it out. Like they were actually straight up offended over what I was saying, which I thought was hilarious, but okay. That's fine. They don't have to worry about me doing that anymore. Tell you that right now. Oh. Guys, yeah, see it. Relax, relax. I just want to nab this real quick. Let's go, baby. Let's go. What the hell? Yeah! Eat it, bitch. Woo! Boom! What's up? What's that? You want to get beat the hell up? What uh, what does he call this? It's the uh, it's the Hey J Invasion Sensation. Boom! See guys, this is why I wanted this to be my main weapon back when I started World. Like when I played the beta. This is what I had thought was going to be my main weapon. Excuse me, sir. 
Oof. I'll take this too. Ooh, Angie, big man. Somebody's leaving. Okay. Well, I'm not staying if you're leaving. I am collecting this stuff. Angie, give me a second here. Oh! No! He got Gaijin! Gaijin, no! I'm sorry. He'll, he'll be back. It's fine, guys. Oh, did we chop the tail? Oopsie. Oh, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to pick up potions. <laughs> I mean, who needs them, right? Carve you boys too. Don't mess with me. Switch axe. Oh my god, you really love, love those booms, eh? I don't know what makes you say that. I like switch axe. I like charge blade. I like gun lance. I think the weapon that is most out of uh, the whole explosions meta that I like is the the sword and shield. Anjanath kicked Puke Puke out of his home. That's messed up.
You think there's a possibility Wild is a prequel of Worlds that we are part of the first few fleets to arrive in New World first? It's like, I don't know. I don't think they've, you know, usually because there's not a huge focus on story. I don't think this has happened before as in, oh, this game takes place before the other one. And if it did, it was probably in one of the older games and I don't remember. But, uh, I think they can do that. I don't know what the possibility of it is, but personally, I would rather not. I would rather them just be like, no, 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 no. This is the new world. And this does take place after Monster Hunter World. It's just in an unexplored area. That's what I want. At the same time could also be an interesting concept where we're just a part of one of the one of the exploration fleets that doesn't really take part in the world iceborne events. Excellent work putting down that Puke Puke. I knew I'd put the task in the right hands. Just to catch you up, we're hot on the trail of Zora Magdros now. There's more to figure out. I need the fifth to protect our scholars while they investigate. I'm putting you in charge of the Wildspire Waste. The quest will begin once you've convened on site. It's time to begin the Elder Dragon investigation. Make sure you know what you need to do. Make sure so you know what you need to do. Scholars. Let's regroup at the Wildspire Waste. Ooh, Wildspire Waste. Wildspire Waste. You know, you guys know what happens at Wildspire Wastes. I think it's time for us to change weapons again. Twenty four, three sixty. Oh, we're going the bone. We're going to the bone zone, baby. We're going to the three ninety six. We're going to the motherfucking bone zone. You better believe it. It's bone zone. The bone zone. Who's ready for some bone? Who's ready for some bone? <laughs> Wait, we can't actually charge the blade now. It's been a while since I've used this without charging the blade. At least I think we can't charge the blade, because that was a um, Monster Hunter World Iceborne feature. Are defender weapons enabled even with... Yes, they are. The best kind of quests. You can charge the blade, but just no chainsaw? No. You can't, you, you have to be an Iceborne to charge the blade, I'm pretty sure. You're doing it now? Did you disable the Iceborne DLC? <clears throat> Okay. 
I don't remember us being able to charge the blade in... I don't remember us being able to charge the blade in base world. But that's good. Because I love charging the goddamn blade. It's fantastic. Anyway, let's deposit some stuff. Oh, God. Uh, I wish that was an easier way of doing this. Okay, here's how we're doing this. Do we not have any well done steaks? It's time to order some then. Bruv, roast me some steaks. I don't think there's anything else that I need, so... How do you make one of these? Manage loadouts, loadout one, register. Yep. Yep. Perfect. All right. Hey, Buster, what's up? a mixture of dry land and swamps, which naturally supports its own unique ecosystem. God damn. This part is so beautiful. Look at this. <sighs> Oof. The memories don't do it justice. Hey, look! A waterfall! The water filters down through the sand and collects in the lower areas thus creating a mire it's a rare time it's a rare experience when you're playing a game and you start going like you know what this is better than i actually remembered usually it's the other way around usually you're like ah this actually didn't age all that well but uh in this game it's like wow this this is even better than what i remember holy crap resilient creatures <laughs> they have adapted excellently to the dry climate even the plants have learned to survive 
The fruit scattered throughout the area has a hard shell that helps retain moisture. Really miss the endemic life in World Iceborne. Do you think Wilds will have similar endemic life? I guarantee it. Oscar Hurt, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. I guarantee it. Rio, as we even said, they've gone even further with the endemic life. Can we have a break now? Look, the Wildspire. That's where we'll find what we came for. But we still have a ways to go. Well, on we go. Actually, downhill might be worse. This is so heavy. I'll be right with you guys. <laughs> I think there's like a special cactus up here and you eventually get a request to come and get it. Coming, baby. All you gotta do is call. All you got to do is call. I'll come running. Everyone, be careful. Mind checking it out for us, there, partner? Sure. Stop that. I'm right here. Don't ignore me. That's rude. Oh crap. She actually hits pretty hard. Okay, that's... Oh! Oh no! The humiliation! I'm never gonna live this down! <laughs> I'm never going to live this down. See, this is why I need one, but just one point in evading extender. Oh my god, dude. No. Any Rathian, actually. But she could provide the commission with valuable data. Hunter, I couldn't trouble you for a sample, could I? Come here, bitch. What you think this is? You think this is a joke? You think I'm playing? I'm gonna teach you a lesson in humility. You're gonna learn today. Ooh. Yes, right. No, 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 no. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> 
You think you can run? No, 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 no. Finally. I thought we'd never get here. No, 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 no. Yeah, you guys do what you gotta do. I'll be right over. I got, uh... I got things to do over here. I need some stamina. Art. Let's see what kind of present Zora Magnus I gotta be careful because it's gonna two shot me if I'm uh We're about, to, uh, we're about to wipe on this quest right here, but that Rathian's gonna friggin' get it. That Rathian's get. Uh uh. I'm not. I'm not living this down. Worry, I'm getting too old for this. No, I'm not. I just need a little bit more health. You could use some defender armor. No, that's the coward's way out. We don't do that here. Present Zora Magdaros has left for us. Now you listen here, you filthy slag. She knows what's up. She doesn't want any of this. Zora Magdaros has left for us. She is very close to... No, she's not. Never mind. They're further ahead. Hey, 
bitch. I'm not done! Where are you going? Come back! Pussy! That's what I thought. I'm gonna take that tail too, Let's see what bitch. kind of present Zora Magdaros has left for us. She thought she had something to say, but then she changed her mind. She's probably going to the nest at this point. Which, if I remember correctly, is this way, right? We'll see what present Zora Magdros has left for us in due time. Let's see what kind of present Zora Magdros has left for us. And due time is not right now. <clears throat> Oh god, we're way too close. Let's hope we actually have to go all the way to the cart to trigger it. Okay, good. We're able to sneak past. <clears throat> Bro, these dunes look so much better than what I remember. Holy crap. has left for us I'll show you the present or magros has left for us here's the present bitch Ooh, that's got it that's right sit the fuck down sit the fuck down that's what I thought. Do we have an understanding now, Miss Rathian? Kind of has left for us. Do we have a situation here? That's what I thought. Good. A Rathian plate. That's not too shabby. That's not bad at all. That's not too bad at all, if I can say so myself. Now, I know that some people, when they're playing through Monster Hunter Let's World, kind of they would argue, oh my god, that is so inefficient. You're not supposed to kill Rathian there. You're not even going to get that many rewards because it's not the proper monster quest. And to those people, I say, it was fun as fuck and brutally cathartic, and I will do it every single time. Okay? Good. Let's continue.
<laughs> You're not supposed to play the game that way. Oh, exactly. <laughs> has left for us. Then why didn't you hunt that Anjanath right? Okay, so look. Um, shut the fuck up. Okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> Nobody asked you anything, okay, sir? So guys, what present did Zora Magdros leave for us? I just imagine... I just imagine Zora Magdros squatting over there. Drop in a big lava deuce. <laughs> Let's see what presents Hermandros left for us. <laughs> With a giant newspaper. Right in the eyeball. Pow! Right in the kisser. Careful, we're down to one card over here. my would you look at that <laughs> look who's came calling uh hey listen you guys remember that whole vengeance situation no hey bro stop listen there's a diablos over there what the fuck is wrong with you did diablos leave yeah he did okay good okay Let's resume operations. You leave Gaijin alone! that up. And now you ask yourselves, Rurikon, where would you finish on a Baroth? In the ass! Shop! 
I'm gonna give that bitch the chop. I need to sharpen real quick, actually. Shut up. Sharp. I'm sharpening here. I'm sharpening here. Well, while we're out here, <clears throat> while we're out here, where is it? <clears throat> there it is. This camp's already built? I didn't realize this camp was already established. I just remember there was a camp here. I thought we had to build it. You can carve its head and you can break its head and you can carve it if you use a hammer. As far as I'm aware, hammer is the only weapon that can break it. Unless the hunting horn can break it too, I'm not sure. But I think it's only the hammer? Why did I attacking the part it's latched onto deals blunt damage? Ugh, you're stuck in the muck. Get yourself out of that gunk before you do anything else. God damn it. Cursed stamina. Zeus! You did it, partner. Okay, I'll be waiting over by the slack. It is what it is. And what it is is we're about to get like 
friggin' paralyzed by this thing. Get the hell away from me. Really, another one? Fuck it, I'm carving. The bros need to stop this bullshit. Stop friggin' hovering over me, okay? I already don't like insects. Especially hyper-realistic ones like these ones with the high-res texture pack. Get that shit away from me. Okay? I don't want no part of that. I hate insects, dude. Wall smash can break the head same with charge blade. You can break the head with charge blade and we can't do wall smash. Cuz I oh, disabled hey. iceborne stuff. Glad you're back. Oh, don't worry. I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. I guess I'll go round them up. <laughs> Wait for us back at camp. You there. Are you part of the Fifth Fleet? Then that means the Elder Crossing is upon us again. The years fly by faster than I can count them. I too am a hunter of the First Fleet. Might I trouble you to share your tale with me? Let's find a suitable place. I never paid attention to their feet. And because of what I've seen in Monster Hunter Rise, I'm now hyper-attentive to Wyvarian feet. So, my old friends are well. Praise be. It sounds like the good scholars are as incorrigible as ever. Wait, he does look Might like I the ask, guy from Wilds. Are you tracking the monster? Drop that massive slag. <sighs> I as well. It seems so easy. I never thought about that, oh, but he does look like him. The truth. Well, it has been a pleasure. Nearby you will find my camp. I trust it will be of some avail. <clears throat> to you and the others. Please pass a message on to the commander. That I am safe. But a force compels me on, and I intend to see where it takes me. If you too feel so compelled, then we will cross paths again at the end of all of this. Was that who I think it was? I need to disable masks in cutscenes. That's what I need to do. Good to see you. Fine work out there. Thanks to you, our people are safe and we know more about our target than ever. Since you left, we've been charting all the evidence we've collected across the continent. The scholars think they'll be able to pinpoint Zora Magdros's location soon. Until then. Okay. Seems like a scholar has gotten separated from his escort. I need the fifth to go and find him and guarantee his safety. The scholar was separated from his escort while collecting evidence in the Wildspire Wastes. Head to the Wildspire Waste immediately. So, I think that there is a setting, like... Uh... This is controls, camera, display... I know that there's... Oh, here we go. Head armor. Hide in cutscenes only. It's most definitely want that. But team... In about 20 minutes, we're going to be releasing the next episode of Khan's Cast. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that. 
It's me and Cowboy. We talk about um, we talk about the Game Awards. We talk about Monster Hunter Wilds. We even talk a little bit about World of Warcraft. But anyway, for now, that is going to be it. This live stream will automatically take you to the premiere of the next episode of Conscast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's live stream. I look forward to playing this again with you guys, hanging out, doing all the usual stuff. If you guys did enjoy the live stream, then a like would be super appreciated. Thank you all so very, very much for the tremendous amount of support that uh, we've received. You all deserve one tip of the hat for everybody in here. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.